Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to be doing several videos of the last few things that we picked up I think this weekend at yard sales and then I've got one more bins bag from Asheville and then I have the last three garbage bags from the last time we went to St. Louis to the bins after Christmas last yep, year yeah I've got three large black garbage bags so I'm hoping probably do this in two or three and then we'll be done I can get the comps done and we'll have videos to release the whole week we're gone it'd be good to have all the bags gone before we bring back another mountain Maybe another mountain is exactly right all right I paid a dollar this was at a yard sale the other day I paid a dollar for this listen he's got a little jingle bell in his ear but he's think it's maybe it's a hole look he's got something going on under here I'm gonna try to stitch it up best I can but I love these vintage little lambs I'm hoping twelve fifteen dollars for him I don't know child of mine Carter's sometimes these are really really good but I didn't look him up and he definitely needs a bath face is all smooched I'll pick up any of these. What are they called? The lazy eggs. Gudatama. Gudatama. The lazy egg. It's by Gund. Probably bread and butter. And I grabbed this. It was a dollar at a yard sale. I think I've got another one I haven't listed. I think it's over in there somewhere. But it's like, what is that? Rose gold coloring and it did say on the bottom made in the USA and it had a box of vintage staples to go with it too so I don't know I'm hoping let's let $15 let me guess that that's one of those satisfying staples you slide your paper in and you whack it yeah it beats the other kind that you have to squeeze you need to squeeze down you want yeah and then just uh it's gonna go on the wall for a little while Oh, do I have one? I don't think I have one. Look how nice. These are the Fisher Price binoculars. So, I had to grab it. And then Robert grabbed this at a yard sale. It is Ertl, right? Or was it Briar? Ertl. Ertl. I've always called it Ertl. If it's not supposed to be called Ertl, but E R T L. But. I don't think this goes with this. We've tried to figure it out. Here's the green roof pieces. The the piece there, the white parts, do not go with that one. Right. So I'm going to have to sell these, like, replacement pieces to a barn structure, which we didn't we see the barn structure. It's just not this barn. Oh, right. There's something similar to it. This is either, like, an equipment building. There's one that's similar to that that looks a little different. That's a farrowing house. Uh, it's where you raise your hogs. Right. Um, but interesting, the the one that was, I think, the Farrowing House, but it had some pieces inside. Mm -hmm, um, right. It was like 30 bucks. It was like 30 I don't know. I'm hoping we'll get, let's say, like 20 and then maybe another 15 or so for these pieces. And we paid a dollar. For the whole kit and caboodle. The whole thing. I think, oh, I grabbed these. They're Clark's. I want to say she charged us like two, maybe one or two dollars for it. Oh, they were five. Oh, five dollars for these. We'll just fix. All right, grab these. We paid five for them. They are Clark's. Do we know how much they're worth? I'm guessing twenty-five or so for them. I would expect them to be worth a little more than the normal twenty dollars or so 20, we get yeah, for 15 Clark's. Fifteen to twenty. I grabbed this. It was a dollar. I'm assuming it's like a microwave tray, but it's Nordic Ware, and I have done really well with most things Nordic Ware. It says, that's my pan. Uh, I wanted to think maybe it was for bacon. I'm not sure, but for a dollar, I grabbed it. I'm hoping like 10 to $12 for it. Oh, and then I grabbed this. She charged me $5. Y'all, it's this is still sealed. It says skin Dimitri James Zoe LA. So I've got this. 
I opened this up. The lotion, the, the foil is still attached underneath this. And then there was... Not quite sure what this one is. Oh, some perfume. Let's see. It has been... Let's see if it's been used. I know you can't sell used perfume. She said none of it had been used. And it doesn't look used. And then there was a little basket it all came in. Y'all, I think I saw comps that were like $100 for some pieces or parts of this stuff. So I'll have to go back in and do some more research. But I don't know. I didn't even realize this was perfume. So I don't know. I think I have a little treasure there. And it's all sealed. Grabbed just some smalls. This is Thai Lola and this is looking Walmart-ish. MTY International. Just bread and butter. Lola? Lola. You sold, you sold one of them I in your whatnot show. a larger one of that, though. And the lady's daughter's name was Lola. Yep. Look, I am pretty sure this is Spark Create Imagine. It doesn't have its tag. Rattle. Probably still going to be bread and butter. Fuck. Who are you? Oh, baby guns. Gans. I'll never get it right. Oh, wait. His name is back here. Baby Bear Cuddles. Another lovey. I just did comps for a video that hasn't been released yet, but it was for a baby gunned lovey, and it was comping at like $30s and $40. So sometimes they're bread and butter. Sometimes they're a whole lot more. All right, bring joy to the world. Jing Wang. Another little alpaca llama. Some more loveys. Needs a bath. That one's going to be bread and butter. Picked up a bunch of character plush. We've got us a Goofy. We've got a Care Bear. One of the little small, more contemporary ones. Yep, this one's Nanco. Still will be bread and butter. This needs a bath. Look. How to Train Your Dragon. But very dirty. I don't know. Sometimes some of these are, you know, bread and butter. And sometimes they're 20, 30, 40 bucks. I'm not quite sure. I'll always pick up How to Train Your Dragon. Look. Aurora Mione Tots. So it's a little baby beagle. Needs a bath. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe $12 to $15 for it. Love this. Look. Itty bitty. I can't read the writing. All right. Tasteful Additions. Ooh, we're going to get us a little Tina Turner, aren't we? Simply the best. That's right. But that's all it says. Although she has better songs out than that. Tasteful edition. I don't know. It looks vintage to me. I don't know. Let's, let's guess $15 to $20 for that one. More character stuff. Look, big old SpongeBob SquarePants. You know what? For some reason, I thought at one point I saw comps on this and it was going to be, I don't know, 20 plus for him. More character to toys. The Mandalorian, the child. Grogu. I don't know. I never watched it. Probably bread and butter. It was pretty good. I watched the first season and then I haven't watched it. Maybe an episode or two after that because I just don't watch series very much. Mm -mm. Another lovey of Mickey Mouse. Some of these Mickey and Minnie Mouse loveys do really, really well. I don't know. I'm hoping 12 to $15 for him. But I am really looking forward to the next season of The Terminal List and Reacher. Those were really well done. Oh. So if you got Amazon Prime and you haven't seen those, those are really good. Right, this is Cottage Collectibles by Gans. It says its name is Pumpkin. But look, he's got like a bobblehead. And you can see the little thing that's attaching there. That is very intriguing. I don't know. 
I'm hoping 10 to $15 for it. Is that Pumpkin Puss? I don't know who Pumpkin Puss is. It's a cartoon. Mm -mm. Hanna-Barbera? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. He was like from I the remember. Ozarks or something. Like yeah. the hillbillies. I remember that name. A big old snake. Needs a bath. Don't really see a brand tag on it. I don't know. It just seems really nice quality. I don't know. I'm hoping most of these large snakes like this still usually are only like 10 to $15. Fuck y'all. Bitty babies. American girl. This one's dated 2011. It's really clean. Look, not just one. Look, I think she's one of the twins. Got two of these, different tag, still American Girl. I don't see a date. Look, two, and these were at the bins in St. Louis. Got a little bit, that's like sticker stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know, 20 to $30 each. Look how cute. Big old plush. Let me see what it is. Uh, MTY International. Dandy. Very nice. I don't know. Something tells me this might be a treasure. I'm going to guess. I don't know. Let's go 40 plus for this. I do really well with cows. This is Smithsonian Institute. Look, cute little panda bear. I'm trying to see if this was added. No, I think this is part of it. I wonder if it's a character. I mean, not a character, but a real, made based on a real panda somewhere. Don't know. Another big old plush. Let's see what it is. Animal Planet. 2019. That's very nice. Very clean. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 20. 20 bucks for it. Love this. Oh, it's Burton and Burton. I like hippos. Look how cute. A lot of times I'll say either corduroy, corded, um, what's the ribbed. Those are all the words I like to use for these type plush. Probably Burton and Burton isn't high end. Probably going to be like 10 to $15. But it got picked up for its cuteness. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, this is Douglas. It's not, it's not the itty bitties. It's dated 2014. Unfortunately, we check comps. It's only worth bread and butter. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, look, this is Douglas Baby. Look how cute. This is one of those teething ring clip-on tops. Very interesting. I've had something similar to this before, and it was only bread and butter. So that's what I'm guessing still for it. Look how cute and clean. Don't know, there's no tag. Doesn't look handmade, but look how cute. Probably list it for like 15 to 20. Somebody has one listed for 20? 20, that works. And I'm still waiting. On one of these days, I'm gonna find one of those really expensive, lifelike, realistic dog plushes that sell for hundreds. Or I'll find Fergus. I'm going to find <laughs> both of them. We go to St. Louis next Are week. Are you? Okay. I'm going to find Fergus and one of those big Douglas dogs. There you go. It doesn't, E and J Classics is another really good one to be looking for. This one's intriguing and the tag doesn't say who it is. Made in China, but look at that. The nose has a little bit of smooch on it. It's kind of like that fake vinyl stuff. Just intriguing. Probably $20, $25 for it. Look at that face. Got a smiley face. It is Walmart. Has its little paper tag. 
five dollars and 98 cents let's see 2021 really they still were selling plush for five dollars and 98 cents in 2021 to me that's to me that was seemed like it should have been early 2000s uh bread and butter i think this is more of the smalls that fell out of the Asheville trip just thought this was intriguing man his legs are in all kinds of weird position it's a spitter yep one of those raptors no it's not a rat well it is a, kind of a raptor it's a diplodocus oh that's what well when we play ark survival that's what it looks like the diplo that's in uh, ark survival and they spit at you and poison you and you can't see very well i just listed two dinosaurs this morning i made in them and go ahead and add him to it and look trying to see i don't i don't think some of these have some issues a lot of times i like to just pull these light covers off and sell them and let somebody just add them to their own light set but i don't i don't i don't think these are coming off so hopefully all the lights work look i'm already seeing one light that doesn't have a cover on it but i don't know i'm hoping 15 or 20 dollars for this light set of snoopy I think my favorite find though I have been wanting one of these and I never just get around to either remembering that I want one of these or going to find one of these or order one so I'll throw it in the wash but I've got a little what are these eye eye covering to keep the lights out <laughs> I'm telling your mother Wait, I gotta, I gotta back up. This was not a Diplodocus. The Diplo is the big one. That's a Dilophosaur, a Dillo. Okie dokie. The things you see, it's the my bad memory. The things you learn from your video game. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Then I got a couple little more smalls. I showed you got. And of course, I've already processed this, but she needs to go with my Daniel Tiger lot. And then I already processed this. See, I'm ahead of myself. This is little woodsies, and I had the mom, dad, and one child, and now here's the baby that needs to go with it. Was that a frog or a hippo? These are frogs, I think. Yeah, they were frogs. They kind of like hippo faces, though. No, they're frogs. All right, y'all. Got two and a half bags left. We'll see how many more videos we get out of it, and then we'll be on our way on our trip. Come four more days. Four more days till vacation. All right, y'all. Get to work. You gonna say bye? <laughs> Do it right this time. All right, y'all. Get to work. Bye.